Julene Allen, Executive Director of Women for Action, Managing Editor of Women for Action Magazine. This is a book response on Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. This is a poetic dance that describes stories of abuse, love, breaking, and healing. You start off witnessing the pain and rejection, the innocence and unknowing of the protagonist in this story makes you want to come up for air. These are feelings we're all familiar with, but circumstances no one wants to revisit, even if we're just bystanders to someone else's pain. The ability to love and be loved was tainted from the start, as the author describes a journey of vulnerability. And you just want to comfort the central figure in this story because it's a damn shame that girls and women have a likely path when they are subjected to abuse. Your car doesn't leave you in a state of abyss. She lifts you up with ideas of healing and what it means to truly love. It is a spiritual awakening of the feminine spirit, the ability to cleanse and renew Milk and Honey reminds women of their gifts from the universe, the ability to give life, to resuscitate, and there's nothing more Amazonian than that. It also tells us that in life, we inherit tremendous hardship, but we have the holistic ability to heal and nothing external can heal us better than when we heal ourselves. It starts off with embracing whatever form of femininity and beauty we are given, celebrating ourselves before we can be whole. Carr explains in so many ways that women have the power to command the universe by taking ownership of ourselves first. And she gives a mad shout out to the resilience of women of color. This is one of the most refined forms of poetic art in honor of women. And I have to take a bow for the author. Thank you for watching. Whoa.